there's an old saying amongst us Radri, you're not home unless you can smell the Murrumbidgee River. <laughs> My people are Radri people. We have an overarching totem of the Gawana, the Guga, but we're also known as Binan Villa people, many rivers people. We still haven't given up on the river and we don't think the river's going to give up on us. So. They say my people have been here for 60,000, maybe 80,000. There's some Thoughts now around some 150,000 years. What I'd say to you is that those plants have been here for millions of years. And, and so they've adapted and staked their claim to where they live. We work in with, with them, their availability to a certain area. You know, we have a, a song line uh, that's particularly important to the uh, river and a red gun, the Eucalyptus camellia densus, it's a Yari Yari plant. It's been holding up the banks of the Murrumbidgee River for millions of years, but they belong here on Radri country, but this is their land as well as ours. So I would say to you that as a Radri person living on Radri land, I would like to see provenance of Radri plants that live here. If you want Western Australian plants, move to Western Australia. <laughs> Banks use in your, in your bottle brush, they're the plants I go for. I, I, I think they look really nice. If you get, get hold of books or even go out and see some of the native uh, nurseries, they'll put you right about what plants you know, are from Wagga. Um, what, what ones are from the river owner, which ones belong on the banks of the Murrumbidgee River and in your backyards. Our gardens are connected and can influence far beyond our fence line. Planting native plants in our garden provides food and shelter for native animals. Native plants are also suited to Australia's tough weather conditions. Easy to source local options include Happy Wanderer or Sticky Everlasting Daisy or larger bottle brush and wattle for nectar feeding birds and mammals. By planting natives, you are helping life flourish in your local area. You're doing something against all those depressing news stories about climate change and extinction. They're an important building block of our local ecosystem. Healthy ecosystems provide the building blocks of life. Clean water, clean air, food, textiles, the list goes on. But just as importantly, they help us feel good. The sights and sounds of a healthy ecosystem help us feel calm, grounded and happy. Go out into your backyard and have a think about the following questions. Where would you like some plants? What's it like there? Is it sunny or shady? How big would you like those plants to grow? What sorts of colours would you like to see? And what types of animals would you like to attract? Take a video or pictures of your backyard that you can show to the nursery staff. This will make plant selection much easier and give you a much greater chance of purchasing and planting, something that will reward you for years to come. Check out the Wagga Flora website at wagaflora.com. Here you can get an idea of what plants you would like the look of. And don't forget to check how high they grow.